Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dwelling Richly Bible Study. I'm Jennifer Richmond, and I'm excited to get started with you on this new study through Acts called The Seeds of the Gospel. So if you haven't already, you want to go online and download. You can see it. This uh, green screen makes everything go invisible sometimes, doesn't it? <laughs> Some of you are listening to me on the podcast, by the way. I know, hello out there in podcast land. Others of you are watching me on uh, YouTube or Facebook, wherever it is that you're getting this. But go online and download the study so you can join us. It's on jennifergrichmond.com. That's my blog page. And uh, that way you'll have the study to start with us. And I'm glad that you're here. We're going to go ahead and give a quick intro right now. And then in the next video, we will start lesson one, day one. So I'm going to go ahead and switch screens with you so you can see this opening lesson, where to find it and all that good stuff. You want to go over to my blog page, which is jennifergrichmond.com. You can see that right here at the top of the screen. Definitely want to join the email list so that you can get notifications. You can actually choose to get notifications on everything that I post, or if you just want blog posts or just want cooking or whatever it is, you can pick. Uh, and pick, pick them all because they're all fun and they're all good. All right. Then you're going to click over here where it says Bible studies. And here we are, Acts, Seeds of the Gospel. Just select that and that'll open it up to the page where you'll see that Bible study page for you. If you'll scroll down, you'll be able to see the introduction, information about that. I've embedded a playlist for you so that all of the videos that I post right there will show up on this homepage. And then you click on the link to open up the actual study and that'll give you access to the PDF lessons and you'll be able to print those off on your own at home but some of you even like to just fill them in on at home as well um, and you just type it right in onto the pdf so i'm going to uh, read off of this with you today so we can get started uh, if you haven't already like i said gotten this you can just look online and uh, i'll read this uh, with you so you can see it but this is just my welcome and it'll kind of help give you the understanding and background of the whole bible study so power confidence deep strong crazy bold faith is that what you want are you missing that well this study through acts will open your heart and your mind to what god has done and is doing and will do through christians who get it the truth of the gospel acts seeds of the gospel is a verse by verse study through the real lives of men and women like you who wanted more and got more than they ever imagined. I started writing Bible studies so I could have focused time in God's word. First, I wrote for my own personal time, and then I began to share them with others, and now here you are, so welcome. In 1993, I was inspired by the words from Colossians 3.16, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. I began writing songs from scripture, and uh, now I've written over 30 scripture-based songs and two dozen Bible studies that help us all to fulfill this verse, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. So my desire is to help others engage in God's word through reading it, writing, memorizing, sharing, singing, and of course, studying and applying the truths of the scripture. I want to live out what it means to truly let the word dwell in me and help others do the same by encouraging women to love God and his word with heart, soul, mind, and strength. So this study is, to offer to design, uh, is designed to offer daily time, structure through the word of God for the purpose of understanding better who God is, and in so doing, knowing ourselves and our purpose better. We'll read and think and pray and write and consider and apply the truths and concepts that we find in God's word. But there's a big goal. It's great to grow personally, but we need to do more than just grow. We need to go. And my prayer is to help you, equip you to be able to teach so you can in turn equip others. Join the online Bible study like you are right now. Good job. Or study on your own. Amazing award rewards await those who take the time to read and study God's word. You can complete the study on your own through these pages or join the community and study together with a friend. Either way, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Let's go ahead and dive in and let God's word dwell in us richly. By the way, if you ever need to contact me, I've given you my contact information right here on page one of the study, jennifer at lamaratachurch.com, and my phone number is available for you there as well. All right. So what is the focus of a dwelling richly Bible study? It's always the same, no matter what we're studying. And it goes like this, who we are, real women in every stage of life who are finding true hope in Jesus Christ 
And what do we do? We encourage one another to seek God for wisdom and hope, support one another in life's challenges and in blessings, share our strengths and our weaknesses, and provide a haven of hope and encouragement, fun and friendship and real answers that are based on the truth of God's word. What do we expect? Well, we make friends and deepen relationships. Bible-based teaching, faith building, personal Bible study, daily online teaching, hello, that's what we're doing right now, and home study, 10 days in every lesson to guide you through the scripture. So for this study, and most of them, we meet Tuesdays, 9.30 to 11.30 a.m., and that'll be for the timeline they're in right now, depending on when you're listening to me, uh, September uh, through November of uh, 2019. And then Wednesdays, we also meet um, 6.30 to 8.30, September through November, also 2019, depending on when you're listening to this right now. But we generally meet every other week. So weekdays, I'll be here on Facebook at 9 a.m. And so you can join me as I go through all of the lessons. If you missed a talk, they're always here on YouTube, Facebook, my blog page, uh, podcast at Dwelling Richly, and lots of other well, I think that's pretty much covers the places that they're at. All right. So the Seeds of the Gospel Study is summarized the first few lessons here um, on page three. There's going to be 13 lessons in the study. Lessons one through five will be from September to November. Um, and then that'll cover chapters one through seven of Acts. And then six lessons six through 13 will wrap up the book of Acts. And that'll start in 2020, January to April. So I've summarized each of the lessons for you. I've given you the um, home study goals, what you're going to be doing, what that week's talk is going to be about, and then also a memory verse. So for example, right now we're in lesson one. And on the 24th and the 25th of September, we met together and I gave you your welcome and introduction teaching. Our home study for the next two weeks is going to be reading and studying and getting the big picture view of Acts chapters 1 through 28. Our key verse is Acts 4.12. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. So each time we open a lesson, you'll be able to go back here to this page and understand exactly when we're meeting what we're going to be covering for the next two weeks, and what our memory verse will be during that time. All right, um, just so you know ahead of time, we will be taking a break right after things, right before Thanksgiving. Uh, so the rest of November and all of December, we'll be back the second week of January for the study. So during that time, uh, you'll have two weeks of a lesson to finish, and then we're also going to introduce a book that we'll have a book club together and studying. All right, let me share with you some of my favorite Bible study tips. These are really practical and easy for you to remember and a way for you to be very successful in your studying. Number one, read and take notes in a Bible. A good old fashioned paper Bible is what I recommend. So I like the New International or NIV version. That's how it's abbreviated. The English Standard Version, ESV, or Christian Standard Bible versions. Um, each of those are written at about a sixth grade reading level. You're going to want to avoid studying from a paraphrase like the Message or the Living Bible. They're all great to read and support and help you understand, but do your actual study from a Bible, Bible, a translation and not a, a paraphrase. And we are going to be using the ESV for this study. In fact, I've got mine right here. I like uh, this particular English Standard Version, it is a wide margin version of the of the Bible. It has blank spaces around um, each of the pages. Let me hold it up so you can see it. There we go. So it has a, <laughs> you cannot see that at all. Isn't that funny? I'm going to put it right here. <laughs> the, uh, there we go. Now you can see it a little bit. It's got about an inch margin all the way around. Boy, that green screen just blocks things out, makes it look very mysterious. Woo! Anyway, um, it's just got plenty of space for you to take notes. So when I start a book, it looks like that. And when I finish it, can you see? that is so funny how my entire head just disappears. All right, if you're watching or listening on the... Uh, <laughs> If you're listening on the podcast, you're missing all the magic. Anyway, um, you get the idea. It gives you space to take notes. All right. The next tip is to use a great pen like this one. This is the Pentel automatic uh, colored pencil, and it has eight different colors of colored pencil in one really convenient pen. And I've given you the color codes that I use to mark in my Bible. You can assign them any color you want, but I use yellow for key ideas. And then I just switch it over here to orange. For memory verses and then blue for 
uh, anything that mentions God or the Holy Spirit, brown for people, green for places, and pink for prophecy, and then finally red for Jesus. And you just click it down, and it's a great way to mark in your Bible that doesn't bleed through the pages. So it's a great colored pencil, Pentel 8. All right, always pray before you read the Bible. And it seems like I should be able to skip saying that, but we forget, I forget. And uh, we need to make sure we're partnering with the Lord as we read through the, through the scripture together. Do your own thinking before you look at a commentary. That includes looking at notes in your study Bible. Maybe you have a really good Bible that you appreciate the commentary inside that Bible, but try to do your own thinking before you look to the commentary for any support. Just use the cross references there in your Bible. And then um, also a great tip is to just join the group and be a part of our YouTube or Facebook community or just join over on the podcast. And I've given you links to all of those right here on page four of your Bible study. The next page is our small group guidelines and small group discussion that we had the very first time we met together and the page after that was blank so that we can take notes during the talk that I gave. If you'd like to listen to the talk that I gave, and I'd really encourage you to do that. I think you'll find it very uplifting and motivational to help you as you get started with this Bible study to not fizzle out. I talked to everyone about fizzle proof, becoming fizzle proof, <laughs> in other words, so that we stay strong and we complete what we start in the Bible and some of the rationale for how we, how we do that together. So, well, that'll wrap up this introduction. I'm going to pause it right here and pick us up in just a minute and do lesson one and we'll do that together. So thank you for being here with me on the introduction. I look forward to seeing you live in person um, at our Bible study or just right here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that subscribe button down there or I forget which side it shows up on when it goes up on the screen, but either way, hit the subscribe button on YouTube and set it to get notifications. That way, when I post a new video, you'll get it right to your phone and you'll be able to watch and join right away from there. All right. Um, stay tuned for the next video coming up in this playlist, which will be lesson one, day one, and I look forward to seeing you there. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> When I click the button, it should stop, but it didn't. Hold on just a second. Bye-bye for now. <laughs> All right, see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.